Hello and welcome to this ExpertLab training video. We will be using ArcGIS Pro to digitize different types of structural features using feature templates. I want to digitize some of the faults along the east coast of Greenland, keeping the same symbols and fault types that are displayed in the map. I have georeferenced the image and the legend and added them to a map in ArcGIS Pro. To add a new feature class, select the project pane from the View tab, navigate to your project geodatabase, right click, select new and then feature class. A new geoprocessing pane opens. Name the feature class faults, select polyline as the geometry type, accept the defaults for M and Z and set the coordinate reference system to match the image we'll be digitizing from. Once you've clicked run, a new fault feature class can be seen in the geodatabase. Close the geoprocessing window and unpin the project pane. Select the faults layer in the table of contents, then select the data tab from the feature layer group in the ribbon interface. Click the fields button. Note that there are no fields in the attribute table, which could be used to store text descriptions of the different types of faults. We will add a new field by clicking the prompt at the bottom of the table. Change the field name to type, change the data type to text, and leave the default number of characters as 255. Once you are finished, click the Save button on the Fields tab. This is new functionality available with Pro which allows you to make changes to the format of an attribute table while still working with the data. After the field has been added, close the Fields tab and click the Appearance button. The Symbology pane opens. Select Unique Values from the drop-down and change the Value field to Type. Note that there are no values that have been added from the attribute table. We will need to add these values manually using the descriptions in the legend. Click Add Values, select Options, and select Add New Value. A default symbol has been created. Type DF for the value, which is short, for Deformation Front, which we will type into the label box. Click the default symbol. We're going to change these so that they match the legend symbols. Scroll down the list of options in the gallery until you see line with one marker. Select the symbol, then properties, and then layers. We'll begin by changing the line that makes up the fault symbol. Select the line, change the color to Mars red, and change the dash type to solid. Click the marker symbol. Use the default shapes to choose a rectangle, change the full symbol to outline only, and make the outline the same red as used previously. Scroll down to the Y offset and set that value so that the edge of the marker symbols is coincident with the line. Click apply to make the changes then go back. Click OK to add the new values and the symbols to the attribute values. We will add one more symbol typed to the attribute values called normal faults. Add a new value. Set the value to NF and the label to normal fault. Select the symbol and choose the railroad symbol from the gallery. Then change the colors and mark offset to match the symbol in the legend. Change the colors to Mars red. Change the offset so that the symbol sits on the line. And then repeat the change in the color for the line symbol. Click apply, go back, click OK. And note that the symbol will be available to use for digitizing. Editing is always switched on in ArcGIS Pro, so now that we have created our symbols, we can go ahead and select the Edit tab. Click the Create button. The Create Features pane appears. Note that the symbols we generated appear automatically with a digitizing tool. Click on the Deformation Front symbol, then select the Line Feature tool. Draw in the fold. Note that the symbol markers are pointing in the wrong direction. To correct this, click the Vertices button, right-click on the line and select Reverse Direction. Switch off the background image to view the fault line. 
switch the background image back on. Select the Normal Fault Line tool. Have a go at digitising the normal faults. Once you have finished digitising, open the attribute table for the faults. If I use the Select tool and select a line, the corresponding feature is selected in the attribute table. Note that the type has automatically been filled in and populated the coded values we added when we made the fault symbols. Once you have finished digitising, don't forget to click the Save button to save your edits. As editing is always switched on, it's easy to carry on with your work and forget to do this crucial final step. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to create domains which will allow us to control the text descriptions which get used in the attribute table and that are associated with the codes. Thank you. Bye-bye.